On News 5, with everything so digital these days, it's hard to know what to do with all the photos and all the documents we have from years gone by. So some of us might even have them boxed up in the basement somewhere. Mm -hmm. News 5's Home of Bass shows us how to turn them into digital keepsakes, and you can do it for free. Over time, photos can fade. I have probably a dozen albums of my own. The memories may too. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Dr. David Wolf is doing what he can to preserve the past. Well, I guess for posterity. For the future. So that they would know what their grandparents and parents' lives were. Spending hours upon hours on a project to convert his family's past into the present. I wanted to digitalize uh, 30 carousels of 100 color slides each. His mother's photo albums from the 1930s, handwritten letters from World War II, his years with the Navy, serving as a doctor in Guam during the Vietnam War. And it's not that hard to, to do. It is some time consuming, but being retired, I have all the time in the world. And the 79-year-old is doing it all for free. Here in the memory lab at the South Euclid Lyndhurst Library, every tool to convert photos and documents from years past into digital formats. This space is about how we've evolved as a library system to be more than maybe what you think of when you think of a library. For Dr. Wolf, the hour spent here was for his three children. When I'm gone, I don't think they're gonna hold on to all these albums and everything, but if it's on a flash drive, they'll put it into a computer and be able to easily visualize everything. And it came with a long, winding trip down memory lane. Very much so. Preserving his past for his future. So yes, it was very worthwhile. Reporting in Cuyahoga County, Homa Bash, News 5. Keeping those precious memories fresh in your mind. Mm. And remember, use of the Memory Lab is completely free. You just have to take a quick lesson in how to use the equipment.